Hi everyone, it's Anne, Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a tutorial. Per request from my previous BB Craft video, I am back to show you how I created these uh, bottle cap tassel dangles. I don't even know the name, but I like that one. <laughs> so these are so fun and so cute. I wish I could actually buy a button maker, but because, you know, you could take your paper uh, stash and, you know, do something fun. Take the images and create a fun embellishment or dangle or pin. But this is the next best thing. So this I actually had in my stash and um, finally put it to use. So um, don't de-stash. <laughs> I just created this one, um, but then I thought I'd show my process again. So the items that I am using are these uh, pliers and I have two for the jump rings. I have my one step loop tool that I love and I cannot live without. And then I have the punch and I will leave links down below. This is an essential for bottle caps. It has this little fine tip here that punches through the bottle caps, no problem. And for the tools, uh, for the items that I'm using, I have this bottle cap that I already cut out a piece of paper from my pastelloween pile from last year. I have a tassel. I have two jump rings. I have a little butterfly charm and a lobster clasp. So let's get started on this tutorial. I am just going to prep and zoom in here uh, my bottle cap. So I'm going to get my little puncher tool here and then just kind of take the top of the image and punch a hole in the bottle cap and there you go it is not the prettiest I'm not gonna lie I will probably just fix this a little bit because it does put pressure and bend the bottle cap a little so but once you put your jump rings can't even tell it's bedazzled so I am going to just take the bottom and do the same thing and punch my hole and the circle is a one inch circle. I just found something that from my dies that fit in my stash. I do not have a punch, but I have tons of little dies that I could totally use. So this is all done, top and bottom picture. And then I am just gonna zoom out a little bit just to get too close. I'm gonna prepare my little beaded dangle and I'll show you my one step loop tool cause I'm so obsessed with this. So I'm just going to insert the, the needle or the pin, and then I'm just gonna push this flush against the top bead. I'm sorry for my fingers. I was playing with alcohol inks. It doesn't seem to come off. So this is real life crafting here, you guys. So as you can see, once I press this, it will cut the excess wire, and then it creates my loop. I just rock it back and forth to make sure that this is closed. And then voila, all done. I hope I did that in camera or in frame. Super easy, one step process. So I am just going to start and get this ready. Um, okay, I do need another. So I did need another jump ring. I'm just gonna get that ready, okay. So I'm just going to start prepping this dangle and I'm going to zoom out again. Okay. Take a jump ring and get ready to start building my dangle. So I take this jump ring and I'm just going to loop this in the top hole and take my lobster clasp. So the top is done. Okay, just like that. And then I am going to start building the bottom and then I will add the Okay, I will add the bead. And the tassel and the charm all onto one jump ring. Oopsie. Actually, I'll just leave that off for a second and then loop that in. 
sorry. Okay. And just close the jump ring. Okay, just like that. So cute, I love it. And then I'm just going to take a little jump ring, oopsie, and then just add the charm to the side or add it as a, another piece just because I don't want it too cluttered. And then actually I'm gonna just add it to this tassel right here on the bottom. Okay. And voila, this piece is all done. Look how cute that is. Again, so cute because you get to use your paper collection and make these charms your own. I actually did just pick up um, a bunch of new, um, they're not bottle caps, but they're bottle cast-esque. They are rhinestone and I love this. I saw Happy Mail Queen do a embellishment project with these and look how pretty these are. These came in super fast on Alley, and I will leave a link down below, but look at that bling. Yes, I'm so there for that. And I love that they come in all these different colors so you can use it with whatever project you want. Super fun and that is it for my tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.